Welcome Bond fans. I hope you all had a wonderful global James Bond day on October 5th, whether you had a, a small celebration or a big one. I hope you were able to take some time out to toast to our favorite secret agent. But celebrating the 60 year anniversary isn't over yet because I am joined here by someone who's going to tell you a little bit more about that. I'm joined here by Matthew Wood, the co-founder of the James Bond Facebook group, Shaken Not Stirred. Welcome, Matthew. Uh, hello. Welcome. Thanks very much for having me. Yeah, no, cheers. Um, so the reason we're having Matthew over is uh, his major Facebook group is hosting this big James Bond weekend for in honor of the 60 year anniversary. We're going to jump into that uh, in a minute. But first, um, for all the viewers watching here today uh, that aren't aware who you are, hopefully most of them do. Um, can you introduce yourself a little bit and tell, talk about uh, your Facebook group? Yes, yeah, certainly. So Shaken Not Stirred, um, I had this idea in 2019 in March to, I mean, there's so many Facebook groups out there. there, there there's so many variety. Um, and I've kind of had this idea that, you know, I wanted to create something that would bring people together more because we, we had a, loads of Facebook groups and kind of uh, with certain small groups of people and, and they kind of go just as far as that like a small group of say like 10 people and um, even though they're worldwide you know you've only got like a small fraction of people but I wanted to create something that would kind of group people together and group the different groups together um and that was the sort of idea behind it so hopefully we've achieved that I mean it's been four years now three four years so and I do think it's actually kind of kind of worked like that where we've tried to interact with different people we just haven't been right this is shaken not stirred we're not going to get involved with any other thing we want to kind of connect the bond community and that's what it was all about amazing yeah no and uh you've definitely uh, seemed to have succeeded because uh this you've had your 60 event definitely isn't the first uh event that you've hosted isn't it yeah i mean we didn't actually mean to do these events it was kind of um fell into it kind of thing I mean we're good friends with Terence Mountain who played Raphael on a, on a Majesty's Secret Service so he kind of we'd seen him a, I met him a few times uh, me and Nick had, had met him a few times and one day he was sitting there and we had a, like a, a dinner or something he said if you do one of these things I'll, I'll come to it and I was like oh, well that's pretty cool so I said okay we'll think about it and then me and Nick decided on one day in June 2019 and it was a free ticket for everybody it was a very small we hired this, we went into this pub, a bar on, on right next to MI6 uh, called the Riverside. And we actually got a few people to come. We got uh, Terence Mountain, Derek Lyons, who has uh, done a few films. He's come to all of our events since. We've had uh, and then uh, Sylvan Witten and Mason, who was the daughter of um, the person who wrote Fundable. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then obviously we had Luis uh, Panisi, I think it is Lu Luis Panisi from Spain, who who he I know he runs some sort of um, Spanish fan club, and he wrote this book, and he said, "Oh, we'll come over, we'll talk about Thunderball. And I learned a lot from that actually. That was really interesting um, about her father, how he actually that Doctor um, Doctor No wasn't going to be the first Bond film, it was going to be Thunderball, um, because of the legal wranglings, you know, it, it wasn't to be, but. Yeah, so, and then it just went from there. And then the same year, we decided to do another event because we had lots of success. Then we had Madeline Smith getting involved in this and we had somebody from No Time to Die. And this was like when the film was actually, you know, being filmed. So it's kind of no spoilers um, because obviously they've got an NDA. They need to make sure they're not breaching that because Eon just wouldn't have them back. So it's kind of cool to have them there, not to say anything, but just, you know, just call cool for them just to to be with us really and then uh last year was the big one operation secrets we had a private screen in no time to die we had you know three people from no time to die actually there um we it was supposed to be about five or six but good job we did because we just didn't have the room um and we did that in a pub in trafalgar square called the Admiral Team. well that's gone now um that's kind of like it caught fire and everything not during our event after so oh that would have been pretty strange uh, um and yeah, this so me and Nick decided this year, uh, 60th anniversary, we have to go all out. And this, the budget of this event has quadrupled all of our previous events put together. This is a really, really big, big event. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. 
Amazing. Yeah, no, that, that's great to see how it how it grown into something that big. Obviously, the Operation Secrets you just mentioned, I, I, I'm still so uh, bummed out that I missed out on that last year because of the whole COVID restrictions, and w- we won't get into that. Um, but I'm very happy to be able to join this time. Um, Lyrit is also going to join. Um, and yeah, this is like M says, this is the big one, isn't it? Um, can you tell us a little bit more about this big, you've had your 60 event? Um, obviously I know it's going to be from October 28th to October 30th from a Friday to a Sunday. Um, and there are two types of ticket and um, tickets. And I'm sure Matt can uh, fill you in a little bit more about the details. Yes, yeah, certainly. So Friday, the 28th of October is when it starts. And we've so we've worked from January. This has been in the work since January all the way up. We've written to Eon. We've written to uh, Pinewood. We've we've yeah, it's, it's been a big, big event. So we finally got permission in August to screen Dr. No in 4K. We had to screen that film because it's obviously it's the first one from this is what it's all about, the 60th. And the only way we could do that is if we bought all the tickets. So me and it have to, you know, we had to put some money in of, of our own to buy, to basically hire out the whole Pinewood cinema, which is not cheap by any means. Um, and, and this is a free ticket for for every Bond fan to say thanks from our point of view for, for you know, doing, you know, supporting Shaken Not Stirred and to come into the event. And the idea is, we're, obviously, we don't make no money out of this. So all of this is just paying for the, the event. So we don't get nothing out of it. We just enjoy putting these things on. So we've got a 4K screen of Dr. No. We've got Norman Monstall joining us, uh, who already works on sound, who's sound editor on Dr. No, all of the Sean Connery films, um, apart from Diamonds Are Forever. And he even did Never, Never Say Never Again. Won an Oscar for Goldfinger, so that's pretty cool. Um, and Terence Mountain will join us because he works with Sean Connery on Diamonds Are Forever. And at the very the pre-title, he's one of the Blowfield's guards, the one who gets thrown uh, a scapel and he, he gets caught. And he has a line in that. So he's got some great stories on set from, from that day. Um, and we're going to have loads of other kind of Bond guests there. But I'm not going to tell you who they're going to be, but they're going to be in the audience watching the film. So it's going to be pretty cool. And the Saturday is the big one. Obviously, we've got starts in the morning. We've got um, free talks. We've got a, a talk from the turbine expert in Octopussy. Um, and he worked uh, how how he sort of got involved in working for Eon on Octopussy. We've got Steve Barnett ramblings on from the set. So basically, he worked on No Time to Die, Spectre Skyfall, and he has some really interesting behind the scenes stories. And he's put together a little kind of presentation, and he's going to show us some some pictures and some kind of uh, stories to go along with that and the different scenes that he worked in. And we've also got Philip Latchford, who runs the Moonmaker page, and he's going to show us. He's put together, this is really cool, a timeline of the whole of Moonmaker from, from kind of call sheets, things like that. So he's going to do the whole thing on that day. It's going to be about 40 minutes. Um, it's going to go through every single kind of finite finite detail of, of Moonmaker. So they're the talks. And then we've we've got the panels, the actual Bond guests. Now, we've got 10 Bond guests coming to this. Norman Wanstall, Terence Mountain, Madeline Smith, Caroline Monroe, um, the Steve Barnett. We've got um, now we've got Graham Hartstone who worked on Sound from Doctor No to Die Another Day, Sid Child who worked as a stunt woman on For Your Eyes Only. They're the two we're, we've just announced, and you know what? There's so many I actually can't remember them all, which is because we got over ten. And then we've got Free Course Meal. We, we've got. We're going to split the panel. So we've got Bond girls chatting. We've got stunt people chatting this day and the other. There may be some more guests on the day. There's there's always surprises. We're not going to tell you everything. And then we have the free course meal. And in the evening, the James Bond theme casino. After the casino, we're going to do uh, the quiz. And after the quiz, we're going to, well, the raffle. There's a raffle going to be there somewhere. There's going to be a quiz. Uh, lots, lots of stuff going on. On the Sunday, me, me and Nick, for those who got double O tickets, uh, me and Nick are going to take you on a tour of some Bond locations. So the grave site from For Your Eyes Only, where he goes to trace his grave, that's a really cool, I mean, it is actually a real graveyard, so we need to be respectful, but it's actually a pretty cool place to be. Lots of Bond fans have made uh, trips there. Um, Shrublands from Fundable, that's that's still there. Um, and Black Park is a is a hive of Bond locations, from Casino Royale to Goldfinger to Octopussy. And there's actually, hopefully, I think we found another location that uh, people didn't really know about. So that would be pretty cool. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, so there's 
all these things is free tickets. So if you want to do all three days, double O ticket. If you want to do two days, Friday, Saturday, it's the operative ticket. And now we've introduced the money penny ticket just for those who want to come for one day. So we've got the Saturday for, I think it's about £90, which is value for money in itself for the Saturday. Um, there are only a limited amount of tickets available at that. I think we've sold a few already. So there may be five or six left just for the one day only. But ticket sales will end on the 16th of October because we need two weeks to process all the guests. We need to send out emails. We need to send out itineraries. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done. So we do need the time to, to do that. And this is just a hobby. Uh, you know, we, we we work as full time jobs and uh, things like that. So, yeah, that's that's kind of it in a nutshell, really. Amazing. Yeah. The amount of dedication you guys put into this. Uh, to put all of this together. I mean, I mean, you didn't even give away the whole event. There's just so much more to it. And, uh, you know, this, I think, is going to be so special to, you know, fans that are just fans or content creators like me, who, whoever, uh, to just be together. And most people, are, I think, are going to be staying in the Pinewood Hotel. That's where uh, me and Lyric will be staying as well. Um Maybe worth mentioning, uh, if you are interested in joining us in this event, um, you can phone the Pinewood Hotel and tell them that you want to come over for the uh, Shake and Not Stirred uh, 60 year anniversary event, and they will give you a special rate for their rooms just for this weekend, uh, which I think is good to know if you are interested to come. Uh, what I find amazing as well is I've spoken to some of my my supporters on a channel uh, there's one guy coming from germany um i think his name is philip uh there is someone coming all the way from the states uh i think he has his folks over in the uk but uh he's still you know kind of come over for this event um it's cool that you introduced the money penny um uh, ticket as well for people that you know may not want to go all three days but just want to join in on on the big one on the saturday so, uh, yeah, no, amazing how you put it together, um, you and Nick, obviously. And I, I, I honestly can't wait. And, and if I can throw in my two cents, you know, if you look at Calvin and, and David Saritsky, I'm sure they do all these Bond events all the time. To, to them, it might be common. But to me, this is the first, the first one I'm, I'm doing, like meeting other Bond fans. Obviously, last year I was going to come. So uh, and, and hearing you speak of all the, the things that are going to come up, it's uh, it's amazing how you you've put this together. And I hope uh, with this video, we're going to maybe, you know, get a, a bit more fans in and uh, yeah, allow them to meet us, uh, which is going to be huge. And of course, it's not mandatory to stay in the Pinewood Hotel. I think obviously most of it is set there, so it would be ideal to stay there. But people living in the UK, living nearby, you know, they could always stay at their own place. It's, um, yeah, it's great. And uh, I, I do know you just uh, showed me off camera a little piece of merchandise that are going to go come up for sale uh, on, the, on the event. Do you care to, to show them again? Oh, absolutely. So obviously, we don't make no money out of this. Anything that we do make, we put into charity. So we, 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 we and on the night, we're going to raise some money for charity. We've got a really cool way of doing that, actually. Um, and I, I will share that with, with you. So what we're going to try and do, we, we're going to talk to the casino company. We've got four tables, got to mention this, uh, blackjack, craps, uh, poker, and roulette. So everyone's going to have an opportunity. Well, most people are going to have an opportunity to, to minimum donation on a roulette number. And we're going to have a prize for that. And we're going to spin it during the night. And whoever, well, whichever number it lands on, that person is going to win a prize. All the proceeds of that will go to charity. So, so, so that would be pretty cool. We're always big on charity. And obviously it goes into our own kind of events. If we, so for next year, we've got, say, my, maybe a little bit of money to put forward because we have a lot of expenses. Now, this is something we've never done before, merchandise. Um, so we've got just this black normal cup. OK, doesn't look too snazzy, but when you put boiling water with it, which um, when you put boiling water with it, it comes into this, which is pretty cool. So you've had your 60 is the actual poster designed by Ruben Wakeman, who's done an amazing job there. And it's got the dates on it. It's got a little bit of like Pinewood Hotel, Pinewood Studio. So I think that's just a nice little touch. Now, there are only about 15 of these because these are 
really expensive to buy. Um, it's cost us a few hundred quid just to buy kind of like a few of these. Um, we're also going to have tote bags um, and we're working on a program as well. So uh, actual like eight to 10 page program, just a kind of snapshot of, of the weekend as a memorabilia thing, you know, souvenir. So we've got three weeks to put all of this together um, whilst doing full time jobs. And I'm studying a degree as well. So it's kind of, yeah, it's it's going to be a busy time. But hopefully we can sell these tickets. We'd like to say we've got one week left to sales because there's an, an enormous amount of work to do. And we need two weeks to do the admin side of it and to get everything out to, to everybody individually, email over 50 people um but i'm really excited about this you know the sound of 007 concert was amazing on on tuesday absolutely incredible and lots of people from there coming to our event which was really nice and we you know I, I me and nick have been speaking we can't believe that you know we've got people from holland germany france us you know all over the, the world coming to our event um and like i say we we try to do it as as cheap as possible um and there was a worry at the start in august when we sold like five tickets for that like, oh my goodness you know we, you know this event is a is a you know it's a lot of money um and we need to cover this so kind of had a bit of a worry at the start but now it's going along nicely we've kind of met our obligations so it's just a kind of if we get a little bit more we may be able to get another guest so if we can have an influx of, of another 10 maybe tickets sold then we may be able to get some more guests on the day and there will be complete surprises and there'll be quite big guests so so, yeah, we're talking to a few people still. So who knows? There's still a few surprises to be had on the day. We're not going to re reveal everything. And there's some small touches here and there that no one knows about. So, yeah, hopefully it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, and hopefully this uh, this video helps you to, to maybe get those few more tickets. Who knows? Um, but, man, what, again, I, I've said this before in the video, what dedication. I hope you, you, you don't... You, burn out <laughs> after this is over make sure to take some time off to to relax as well because it sounds like you know with a full-time job doing a degree putting all of this together i mean hats off to you and nick for for doing this um and the casino for charity that's that's really that's going to be great as well um this is going to be a bit of a black tie event if i'm not mistaken as well i mean it's optional i think but um pe people are allowed to dress up when uh, when we visit the casino right yeah yeah absolutely so it's, a, it's an optional black tie because you know uh, it's very hard to gauge i mean us like but like you, you you and me you know we're, we're gonna go james bond you know probably tux and then uh, you know because it's a when do you get an opportunity to do that in a casino you know with you know the you know bond themes all around you you know and, and people from the films actually attending as well which is pretty cool now the casino is free to play which is cool as well and everyone's going to get some money uh, i'm not going to go into that because it's going to be interesting when you receive it um and this will give you uh, enough for chips and there's going to be a leaderboard and and so we're gonna we're gonna give away some prizes as well um but it's going to be really really cool so it's optional because some of our guests may not want to do that and that's absolutely fine but for those like me and yourself jerome and obviously nick and a few others and and the women i mean i know jem my wife is very interested in she's got her evening dress casino style dress already um she's very excited to to dress up so the option's there if you want it same uh same with lyrics he uh she bought her dress for this uh for this thing as well um so yeah it's great and i, I like that you kept it optional for those uh, do, who don't want to dress up uh definitely getting uh getting my uh, suit in my suitcase to to the uk as well um i should get a proper tie as well i always had like these cheap ones but now that i'm doing something like this i'll definitely uh, <laughs> look into that and i like that you don't give everything away yet there are going to be surprises which already makes me so excited to to join in on this and um yeah um uh, unfortunately i do have a bit of a time limit i know you're on a tight schedule yourself so uh we're gonna finish this video off but i do want to ask you if you have anything last uh left i mean to mention before we finish off this video is there something you want to tell the bond fans yeah, absolutely. Um, so first of all, thank you to everybody who supported myself and Nick in Shake and Not Sturge. We've all been absolutely amazing. We've made some really, really good friends. And even like on Tuesday night when we went, we bumped into people we knew. It was like one big party for all the Bond fans. But yeah, no, please try to buy a ticket. If you could come, great. Because 
we will not be doing this kind of event again. This is, I'm losing my hair doing this event. And I'm sure Nick, well, Nick hasn't got much hair, but I'm sure he'd be kind of the same. And he's been very stressful for both of us. So we've kind of agreed that this is a big one for the 60th. It's not going to, we're not going to do this every year because it's just too much to do every single year. So we're really excited to do this as a one-off event. We still will do events, but this is a massive scale. You know, what we've achieved is beyond our even our kind of, dreams we we put down kind of a, a thing we wanted to achieve we've gone past that completely gone past that now so and that's thanks to all of you so thank you to all of you who bought a ticket thanks to everyone who supported us and please yeah try to get there because you know there's some great people going to be there uh J jerome's going to be there as well i'm going to be there we're going to have a bond community q a so if you're in the bond community and you get a ticket let me know and you could be a part of that panel because i think it's pretty cool to for, for some people to ask where do we you know where do we come from how did we get this far and everyone has their own journey into bond so yeah no thanks to everybody and hope to see you end of october uh so you've heard the man get your ticket i will put it in the description and um we'll uh hopefully meet you guys in person next uh, at the end of this month in the uk so get your tickets before it's too late see you guys in the next video cheers guys See you later.